Hi, welcome. I'm Jory, and this is a empties video slash post burn candle review. I got a few candles to go over as well. So bag got full. So let's see what I have. A random bag. <laughs> First, I finished off some uh, face masks. Like it's been um, hot, really hot here. So. Just washing my face, you know, taking a shower when I get home, washing my face and just getting refreshed right after getting home has been wonderful because you feel sticky and hot and icky. So one thing that I've been enjoying is some face masks and I did do, um, this is a seaweed one for nourishing and detoxification, um, powerful sea. Vegetables help nourishing and detoxify skin, anti-aging ingredients, um, revitalizing skin. So I use that one. So I enjoyed that one. Um, the brand is C La V. So that one was nice. I put them in a sandwich bag because I didn't want to get them all everywhere. Get the stuff everywhere. Um, the next one I went through is a tea tree one by Blank Therapy. That was good. So I just been enjoying these. Um, like I said, after washing my face and being outside, sweating and all that. My favorite is the multivitamin mask. Um, by Vital Mask Maskays. I definitely need to order me some more, but this is my favorite because, um, mm, sorry, I just ate and some. Um, it has vitamin B3, B5, B6, C, and E. So I just love this, the most moisturizing one. But all of them I enjoy, but that's my favorite, and I definitely need to restock up on that one. But I'm gonna use the ones I have, then order that one. So yeah, I just been really enjoying that one. Um, been enjoying doing this Generation Clay Brightening Purple Clay Mask. This is like my second or third one. I think my third one. And I don't have any more, but like you find these little things at TJ Maxx. So it was good. It's one that you put on your face and then it um dries and then you just wash it off. But I do some of those sometimes. Um, get the... Trying to get the, so I went through a champagne, apple, and honey. Oh, shoot. That's not it. Where's the shower gel? Oh, <laughs> shower gel in my face. So champagne, apple, and honey of the shower gel. And this has crisp apple, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey, and autumn woods. Now, I think this come out in the fall, but it doesn't give me fall vibes. It give me like spring summer type vibes because it's a bright um little sweet apple kind of scent so like a little sweet so i don't consider this like fall so i just waited um now this wilt butter wilt body butter took me forever because it was so thick but i finally finished it up from last year um, not a repurchase on the body butters. They be too thick. Like, take me too long to get through one. So, I also went through the creamy body scrub. I just put it here because I cut it. Really enjoyed this one. So, I would repurchase the um, Champagne Apple and Honey Body Care. But I use it in, like, spring slash summertime. Like, finishing spring, really. Because I think summer just started on the 20th. So, um, so yeah. Definitely a repurchase. Definitely enjoyed that one. Finished up a Mad About You shower gel. It's the only thing I had from this one. It was a nice, like, berry juice. Like, berry juice. Kind of floral, I think. Um, I don't have the notes for it. But I like Mad About You. So, I would repurchase mad about you again and this was the shower gel i would get the 
um, body set for that one. Finish up a green apple, witch please, foaming body scrub from Honest Bath House. Excuse me. So this one, it wasn't too fragrant, but I enjoyed the consistency of it. So it's a nice um, exfoliating scrub. Finish a Waikiki Beach Coconut. Um, enjoyed that one. I have a new one now that came out this year, so I just went ahead and used this one. We we'll repurchased that one because, like I did, um, my favorite foot cream is Taro Taraco uh, foot cream, Sicilian um, blood oranges. This moisturizes my feet so well, and I need to look this one up too. So that way I can order it online. It is so good for your feet. Um, like a little went a long way. It's a little thick, but to keep your feet moisturized, this was top notch for real. Really enjoyed that one. Um, let me see what else I have over here. Finished two room sprays, the Black Cherry Merlot. Um, this one, one, I already went through, I think it's my second one. Um, the other one I use, it smell a little funny when you first spray it and then when it does paint like in the, in the room and spray it in the room and kind of settle, it smelled better, like more of the candle. This one smelled just like the candle, so it was nice. So it might have been a little batch difference or something, but the other one smelled a little funny when it first came out, but this one was okay. I would repurchase that one. Um, next, I went through a sweet orange agave in the room spray. I like the room spray better than smelling the candle on cold. I didn't have to burn it, but it was good, and I did get another one for 75% off. So I did repurchase the orange and agave. That one was good. Um, I need to start <laughs> doing better, but I got only got one um pocket bag, and it's good friend. <laughs> Cause good friend, even though it come out like for Halloween, it still seem appropriate to even um use now while it's warm. Um, even in the spring or summer, because it's nice uh fruity scent. Um, like a strawberry, I think. The floral beauty scent, it don't really give me like, I want to burn around Halloween only because, um, of the scent. Now the packaging, I still do it because the packaging has Halloween, you know, decorations on it, but it don't give you Halloween vibes. So good friends. Um, I decided to pull that out because like I said, it's giving me spring summer vibes and I would repurchase to use like more so in spring and fall. Like I think I might have a candle. I'm not sure. I might have one, but I have burnt the candle um, during October and spring. So definitely would repurchase. Then I have some wildflowers. I got two of the coconut lime breeze went through those two this one i just couldn't smell no more these two once they got it right there i couldn't smell them no more i had these in the bathroom they too to me too light for other areas so i just kept them in the bathroom and it's zesty lime lemon um verbena and sheer coconut so it was really really nice in the bathroom really fresh um bright Fruity kind of scent, but not super like fruity. It was like more of a freshness to it. Um, not overly like sweet or anything, but just a nice fresh uh, coconut limey scent. So yeah, enjoyed that. Got through a Bridgerton um, Wisteria Garden. And the notes are sweet rosewood, English rain, and lemon petals. This was really light. It was like a little fruity. Um, not my favorite. 
beauty scent from Bath and Body Works, but it was okay. Not a repurchase. The other three that I did have, I exchanged it for the uh for another um scent, and I show you next. But I did exchange these for the Bridgerton Diamond of the Season. So I had three more of these, but I exchanged them for the Diamond of the Season. And I really enjoyed this one, the Wallflower. I didn't enjoy the Diamond of the Season candle. It smelled like a weird peach. It was a weird scent with peach in it. Um, but I do enjoy the Wallflower. The Wallflower is amazing. And it's Sparkling Peach, Spring Daffodil, and Radiant Jasmine. I get more of that peach and the other two notes like in the background so this is so good definitely a repurchase and i got them right here so i did exchange them today for three more of these instead of keeping the three um Risteria garden ones so i just want to show you those that i did um replace those okay um i guess we could do soaps Went through two of the eucalyptus mint, really refreshing and relaxing. Um, fresh mint, crisp eucalyptus, and sweet clarin sage. So enjoyed that one. Just been in a eucalyptus mood. So finished those two. I think that was my last one because I went through them back to back. Um, Not that one. That one. I don't know why he put that in there. It ain't finished. Um, Poppy went through two poppies. And the notes are fresh dew, fresh morning dew, wild poppy, and juicy pear. I think this is my last two. Love the scent. Um, nice, beauty, a little floral, but juicy, um, tight scent. Really, really nice definitely a good one make me want to pull out the body care <laughs> so yeah definitely a repurchase for poppy if it come back out probably not because that was one of those um body care scents that they come out in and it probably don't return because it's not in the main one sorry i need to drink something mm. next i went through two of the blueberry bellini and the notes are wild blueberry bright citrus sparkling prosecco um this was okay i liked it when i smelled it but then using it it was different for me i don't think i like the prosecco part um so it was okay not a bad scent but just okay for me um went through a couple of these <laughs> Because I had company and everything. So I don't think I have any more. So I'll use those up. When I really don't care too much for them. I try to use those up. And the ones I do care for. Stay behind. Um, I end up finishing two ice dragon fruit tea. Now I don't like the how the candles smell. But I did enjoy the ice dragon fruit and the soap. Because it had more of that lemonade in it. So it's pink dragon fruit, green tea, and fresh lemonade. So it had more of that lemonade and like a little tea with that fruit in it. So it was a bit more balanced to me than the candle um, smelling. But I enjoyed the um, soap versus the candle. So I would repurchase the soap again. All right. Let's get to the candles. First, I got through a butterfly garden by Homeworks. Uh, Slacking and cold. So, got through that. Trying not to get the light. So you can see it. Pretty packaging. Pretty spring light packaging. Burned all the way down. Had like a purple. It's like a light pastel purple kind of scent burn all the way down um the notes are butterfly i mean the notes is not butterfly garden that's the name of it <laughs> um budella budella blossom honeysuckle peach blossoms and pink grapefruit this one was a low throw 
probably like a four and I had that in my smaller smallest bathroom I have um, this one was just okay the notes it was a weird floral um, combo with a um, sweetness or tartness to it just a little bit from that pink grapefruit but these notes it didn't work for me it was weird so I just was burning it to get through it but I didn't care too much for it it was just a weird combo for me um, didn't really care for it um, yeah that's all I gotta say about this and not a repurchase for me the butterfly garden it's just those combination notes just wasn't working for me so not a repurchase on that one it was just a weird floral scent with a hint of sweetness and tartness I don't know it's weird next I got through a Groose Creek ice sweet tea and the notes are tea leaves lemon zest honey and sugar this one when I was burning it um I was burning I thought I was burning um ice lemon pound cake <laughs> at first I, then I burned it then it smelled like a tea um it's okay for me it's not my favorite like sweet tea then I, I end up after burning a couple times put it on the candle crock put it in my candle crock um It was a medium throw, but it was just a weird tea scent. Like it was old tea. <laughs> like the tea done, you know, been sitting out or it's a it's a weird tea scent for me. Like it's old or like you kept using somebody kept using the tea bag or something like that over and over. It was okay, like not my favorite. Um, that's why I put it in candy crock to get it over with. And even on even um the lid, it smelled funny to me. Um it was just a weird um scent for me. Not a fan of it, not a repurchase at all um like i said it just smelled like an old tea then it was giving me bakery vibes like a lemon bakery vibes i don't know um i thought i did i had to look and check see if i was burning ice lemon pound cake and it was this one and then it had a tea scent um it's it was okay it's just not for me um something not right for me on it so not a repurchase for the ice sweet tea like I said, it just smell like some really old Lipton tea that somebody kept using the bag or it was some old tea that been sitting out. <laughs> um, next, I burnt and crocked is the Lavender Bergamot from Bath and Body Works. And the notes are bright lavender, bold bergamot zest, warm tonka bean. So I burned it at first and it was giving me a low throw um, for the first like two burns. Um, it was about like a five and then after that it just dropped down to a low. So then I could barely like smell it. Um, so I had crocked as you can see. To just amp up the smell, but it then it stayed at a low, maybe like a, I say a three. It went like after first couple burns, I just couldn't smell it like I did before at a five, and then like I said, it was maybe like a a three in the bathroom in the candle crock, and I usually don't put my candle crock in the bathroom, but um, yeah, not a repurchase. 
for me it's just too light um and i end up exchanging my other two that i purchased from this line i got other lavender candles so not a repurchase for me it was just too light for me and you had to really be like in the bathroom next to it to smell it that's why i gave it a three so i exchanged the other two for the coastal cottage and my store like they had a lot of the other ones and this one just had like they only had like three left i'm sure they probably get more in but she because i was looking at the weeks so i was like yeah any more in the bag she didn't have any more in the bag so it was just three on the shelf so i got those i think the packaging is nice so i exchanged and the notes are garden sage oak moss and beach breeze it kind of it's a beachy herbal kind of scent i think this one reminds me of a little bit of um what did i just burn warm ocean breeze but that one is more cologne where this one is a bit more fresher and not um cologne to me just very beachy herbal fresh so i think it kind of reminds me of that one so i think that's why i picked it up and liked it so got that one i went to burn that okay next i end up burning two of the passion fruit and banana flower so this one uh the notes are passion fruit banana passion fruit pineapple leaves banana flowers and it came out in 2022 so burn all the way down no issues and then this one same thing burn down no issue burn down well no issues somebody got oh they doing y'all work outside sorry if you know if they doing something outside um so yeah definitely a repurchase it was a medium high feel my open console yeah medium high like about a i want to say probably like an eight so i don't know what they're doing outside now but if you hear noise sorry about that so yeah definitely a repurchase so good both of them was definitely through in the open concept traveled down the hall so good um so i had one both of them going in different area and they just was so beautiful definitely a nice fruity like leafy tro like tropical leaves type scent um so wonderful and on cold I, I think i got like one more so definitely a repurchase if they come out with this i'm not sure if it came out this year i don't think so um like with the new like sweet kiwi and starfy i don't think it came out again i don't think so but yeah i definitely would repurchase i remember kelp i only i got like three because i remember like just smelling and falling in love with it on coal and then after the sa stuff i was like dang i picked up three I think of the same year, I believe. Um, or I kept picking up at an SAS because I just loved it on cold and found out I picked up three. So love it. Definitely a repurchase of the passion fruit and banana flower. That's why I got the body care because the candles were so amazing. Definitely. Um, it was a medium high very good i had like one going in one area and they kind of meet up with each other and just had my nice my house smell like a tropical paradise so definitely a repurchase on that one next i burnt a main main's best blueberry cotton candy so got that 
Ooh, my hands are dry, sorry. Um, and it has ripe mane, blueberry, spun sugar, and vanilla. Burn all the way down, no issues. This was a hot thrower. <laughs> it smelled like blueberry candy. Um, a blueberry um, type of candy. I'm not sure about cotton candy, but it did remind me of a blueberry candy. Um, and sometimes I got like a bakery note from it. I'm not sure. But yeah, it was a good one. Um, I would repurchase it again. It was just a nice, fun, sweet, candied blueberry scent. Definitely a high thrower. Fit up the open concept travel. Um, such a good one. Definitely a repurchase on that one. Last but not least is the Rainbow Ways. I think it's 2022 and it has sun, sunny sangria, bright melon, misty waters. Burn all the way down. No issue. That's probably why I was lighting it up, but, but no issues. Um, this one was a nice, like, juicy type drink kind of vibe, like fruity drink. Let's join my sip it on right now while it's hot. Nice packaging. Definitely slept on this one. I remember having the hand soap and liking the hand soap, but I slept on this one and just got one. Because I remember not picking it up and I saw one at SAS. And so then that's where I got this one from. But such a good one. Um, medium throw. It'll fill up the room you put it in. Like I had it in my bedroom. So, um... I didn't try it out in my open concept, so I'm not sure about that, but it gave me a medium throw. Really nice, bright, fresh, fruity kind of scent. Um, definitely something you'll want to drink. So nice. And I like the, I think they call this the paint. Paint like strokes or something, kind of. Collection when it came out. I think this came out with the that popcorn and maybe the, what was that one? Sour melon or something. So yeah, this one was good. Slept on this one, so, so good. Right sweetness, juiciness, freshness to it. A little, um, I guess Mr. Waters in it. <laughs> Don't know what that is, but hey, definitely a repurchase if they bring this one out. I'm not sure if they would. I think that was, I don't know if it was a in um, body care. I'm not sure, but this was so good. And that was my only one. So that is it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Um, peace.